Welcome back to Photography Gear Spotlight. Today we're going to talk about tether tools. Alright, welcome back to part two of our review that was supposed to be only a one part series. So we're talking today about tether tool stuff and um, some of the new stuff that they came out with. My name is Nick and I'd like to introduce everyone. So we have Susie Taylor. Hello. And Scotty Myers. Howdy. And we are sponsored by PAC, the Photographer's Adventure Club, where we do photo walks and all the other kinds of crap that you can find out about. So check it out at photoadvclub.com. All the info is up there. And we are also sponsored by Parkwood Studios, which is a studio in Phoenix, Arizona. So let's get into it. So we didn't get to this the last episode, so it's four weeks later probably now. And everyone's <laughs> like, all right, let's hear yeah. about this. So um, what did they send us? They sent us some cool stuff. Um, and I think the first one here is, is this. Right. And what this is, is, uh, yeah, it's a cell phone holder so that you can, uh, <laughs> while you're on the phone, that just goes around your ear. And you can just um, hold it up. Or a very so, small neck. Yeah. Exa I mean, how many times have you been out on site and you realize, you know, I need to set up a speed light, but I need it over on the side. And maybe you don't have room to have it on a tripod or something. So what they've done is they've got this little holder specifically for speed lights. And they've got these little strips. And they're called a rapid strip. And what you do is it's basically like a two-sided piece of tape. You can feel it's nice and spongy, and it allows you to attach this to a smooth surface, such as metal, porcelain, um, paint. Uh, they, there's a couple of things you don't want to try to mount it to, like wood or a porous surface like brick or mortar, because um, it just won't stick very well. But the whole intention is not to stick it there and then not be able to get it off, but to be able to put it there temporarily, and then you can take it off when you're done with your shoot. Your speed light just fits right down in here, and then they've got this handy-dandy little strap. You just cinch right up against it. Um, and so it doesn't fall out. So it doesn't fall out, exactly. And now I can trigger that speed light remotely and have it to the side, and I don't have to try to carry it around a tripod with me. Cool. So um, show us a little bit how the rapid strip works and uh, where it sticks on there and everything. Sure. So I actually have this other example here, and this is uh, another mounting piece. It's anything that you will use the uh, your standard mounting screw here. For example, this is the uh, handy and dandy little foam mount that uh, Nick likes to use. Um, basically in a very quick way is you, it's, with it being double sided, you simply take one side off, stick it onto the back here, peel off your second piece of tape, and then simply attach it to the surface. It's very important, it needs, they say you need to let that sit for at least three minutes so that it gets a good bond on there. And now it's going to hold it up right up on your wall. Um, now I know we've stuck it. Um, they came to one of our meetings and showed this when it first came out. And they actually stuck it right to the um, brick behind us because it's painted. So it actually stuck to the brick, even though it's brick um, cinder block, because it's a painted surface. And it stayed there the whole meeting and everything. Um, what are other surfaces? You said wood it doesn't stick to, concrete? Yeah, anything that's porous, really, because it's just not going to stick to it very well. Uh, for example, we did try to stick this on wood before the show. And literally just putting hardly any pressure on here just popped right off. Okay. Um, this being on this tile, as you can see, putting a little bit of pressure down on my finger, it's going to hold. These are designed to hold about one and a half pounds. If you go beyond that, then it's, chances are it's going to come off. But the great thing is when you're done with your shoot, you just apply a little bit of pressure. And you do it slowly. You might even hear that it pops right off. You'll notice there's no residue left behind. I didn't strip any of the color off of the tile. I can then peel the sticker off of here or peel the tape off of here and I'm ready from, to put that away. Or you could maybe try to reuse it again. Just put this right on top and they, put it back in your bag and maybe They actually recommend get not away. reusing it. Of course um, not. Only because <laughs> you're, once that bond is there and you peel it off, it's just sure. like regular tape. It's not going to be as sticky. Yeah. And the last thing you want is to have your speed light fall and hit the floor. You don't want your speed light falling. You're right. No. Or if you've got a you're cell right. phone up against the wall. So and, disclaimer, uh, don't take Susie's advice. <laughs> so, Susie's so going to do that still. But <laughs> so it comes, it comes in a um, in a nice box like this, and it actually comes with ten rapid strips included in the box. So you have ten uses of each one. This one is the SLX um, for speed light. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
And then this one is the Rapid Mount Q20. So tell us a little bit about this one. This one also has 10 rapid strips and it has a quarter 20 articulating arm. Mm -hmm. So um, the uses that they've told me it's for is, um, you know, a GoPro, the cell phone mount, pretty mm -hmm. much anything that'll take a quarter mm -hmm. 20 you can put on there. Yes. Well, it gives you a little bit more flexibility here in terms of your direction, whereas this is going to be flush mount you're going to be limited to the radius and angles of your speed light right there. And whereas this is just going to give you a little bit more, I mean, obviously you can put a GoPro on here, um, but it's how many axes here? One, two, three. Well, my, my speed light, I have a Canon one. I know two. it has a that on the bottom of it. So you can actually put a speed light on that, I am assuming mm -hmm. too. Sure. Absolutely. Anything that you can mount in with that, you can set on here, provided it's light enough. Uh, don't try to stick a five-pound device on here because it may just peel it off the wall. Sure, sure. So, so yeah, this is the one I've been using. Um, I've been using this with with a different mount, not that particular one. And it is actually it's like the Low Pro, it's called. And I could put my um, cell phone in here and mm -hmm. lock it in. And the way I'm seeing another use for this with this, if I if I buy this, that I can actually put it on here and um, put it into different places now. So I can actually have the um, cell phone, and now mm -hmm. I can just, it's kind of like a selfie pod. You can have it on <laughs> I can have it instead of a selfie exactly. stick exactly. now, because now I don't even need the rapid stick. Mm -hmm. I can just have it as a weight, so now it's like able yep. to just sit there and um, videotape, even if I'm not videotaping myself and mm -hmm. just want to have like a tripod, mm -hmm. you know, this is a great tripod. Oh yeah, too. absolutely. So you can stick it to stuff, and you could stand it up too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The uh, thought I had about this one in particular, if you're in a a small room like let's say you're shooting the bride getting dressed getting ready for the wedding and you just don't have room for your stands and you know your mm -hmm. light stands and stuff this may really do in a pinch when you don't have anything but maybe even a mirror a mirror to stick it to oh, yeah. or or a window or whatever. Yeah, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable sticking this to wallpaper, whether they said it was allowed it, to no, or not. No, that's actually one of the things they say is do not stick like it to in wallpaper. Like a hall, like, you know, your insurance company mm -hmm. would there's a, But yeah, I would not stick this again. There's no <laughs> there's no muchiness left to this. Yeah. Oh, like, like that's, yeah, that's not gonna hold it anymore. So it is not reusable, but um, they come in that. two different sizes of packs. You can get them for 30 or a pack of 120 out on their website. So. Um, obviously, it's a better bang for your buck for the 120. What's um, the range of the range in price is, uh, I believe, 15 to 50. So I mean, it's really, I mean, for 120 uses, that's really not bad. And the real, flexibility on these are great because mm -hmm. if you're, you know, a person is going to get really creative on how you're doing things and you're shooting off with all kinds of different stuff in the back. Different stuff. Let's let's just go to a real example. Let's say you're shooting in a junkyard and you're shooting inside a car. Mm -hmm. Well, you could, instead of trying to get a strobe to shoot in through the window, you can put this on in one of the side panels or up on the headliner, any place where you've got a little bare piece of metal on a, on a glass. And now you're throwing that from inside, yeah. but it's hidden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it really introduces a whole new level of creativity that you can do with certain types of shooting, mm -hmm. especially if you're working in small and enclosed spaces. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. So the um, so two different ones. What are the price ranges of these? Just in the general price range, are they similarly priced? Uh, similarly priced, uh, I believe about twenty five and thirty dollars each. Oh, so they're not. So, that's not a super expensive gadget. No. It's something pretty mm -hmm. affordable. And and these are like the three M strips. When you buy the three M mm -hmm. hooks, you once you use them, you don't really use them again. You throw those strips away and you buy new ones. Mm -hmm. So you it's, keep the hooks and you just replace the sticky part. Exactly. So mm -hmm. so cool. All right. So it's pretty affordable. Pretty cool gadget. Tons of different uses. I'm sure hopefully you guys are thinking out there of outside the box ways to use these these tools. Like that one, you can't think too much out of the box, but you can strap other can, things in there. Well, you can sure. use it in um, architecture, like interior stuff for uh, people that shoot homes. So oh, yeah. real estate stuff where it's really hard to shoot some of those things and light them properly. And this could really be a, a nice problem solver. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. I know um, they, they also have another one that we don't have here that actually can... Um, suck the air out. It's not, not a suction cup, but it's got a little pump on it. And mm -hmm. Sprague um, had bought it to put his camera in the window of the airplane. The so he can put in the cockpit and he can suction cup it. And then it has the same little arm and, and put it that way. Um, cause this is too flat because the, you know, I guess he couldn't get it to be totally flat. So, mm -hmm. um, they, there's many different things that they sell that you can check out out there. So, and all different kinds of attachments and things. So, yep. um, tethertools.com. 
Yeah, we have a uh, we have a code too. So if you want to save money, I think you save ten percent if you use PAC P A C as your code mm -hmm. um, and everything. So um, they're like the MacGyver for photographers. They like I want to. <laughs> I, I think their name of their company should be like I want to bolt this to that, and then they figure it out for me. Like I just go knock on the door. I'm like, hey, I need my cell phone, and then he comes out with this. I'm like, okay, cool. You didn't have to go invent something. You already had it. So it's like <laughs> whatever I'm thinking, they always have something cool to to bolt together. So cool. Any other last thoughts on these before we wrap it up? No. Yeah. Do you want to peel that one off? So show them sure. how that one comes off. It's the same way. You're just gonna peel gently from the side. As you can see, again, no residue or anything behind, and then just peel it off of the back here, the flat spot, and it just peels off surprisingly easy for as well as it holds. Yeah. Um, and now it's ready to go. I mean, you can run your finger across there. There's no sticky, no gooey. It's almost like gaffer's tape, yeah. uh, double-sided gaffer's yeah, once, tape. And, it, and it's pretty much gone now, right? Like, yeah, uh, I yeah. mean, there's not even enough tack hardly to... To hold your fingers, yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. So cool. So we're just going to wrap up here. So there's two different products, the Rapid Mount by Tether Tools Q20. And then we have the Rapid Mount SLX, which holds a speed light. Um, poundage, how many pounds do they hold? 1.5 pounds. 1.5 pounds, holds your speed light, holds any other different gadgets. Um, you can buy the Rapid Mount strips in 30 or 120 and pretty affordable. Yes. 15 bucks to 50 dollars and you get 120 uses out of it so so don't stick them to wood don't listen to Susie, right <laughs> um, and don't reuse them so um, hopefully you have a little bit better idea by seeing all these close-up pictures of everything of what to um, use these for and some different ideas comment below subscribe let us know what if you've used them if you're going to use them what you're going to actually use them for um, I want to see what what how, how you get creative with these mm -hmm. things. So uh, post some pictures up, even if you want to post a picture up of hey, I did this with it, and I was able to stick this in a car or somewhere else where you normally can't get a stand. So um, so cool. Thanks for subscribing, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.